Hello everybody. So in this video, I will show you guys my Dash Trader Pro layout or F1 Trade Pro layout and a couple tips on how to set up your charts and some other stuff as well. So stay tuned. So this is my main screen. And when I get in, the, in front of the computer, I click on the F1 trade. Oh, shoot. I think I accidentally delete everything. So I guess that makes it even better because you guys can actually see how I'm going to set up everything. So what I need is my position. I need that. And I'm on a, I'm actually on a trade right now. I went about 200 shares of um, Bank of America for a swing trade. So I like my um, position to be right down here. And then you go on trades, you click on um, count. By the way, I'm, I'm down $54 today. Oh, and um, guys, I'm actually going to start making, instead of doing like a video every day about a recap of my small account challenge video, I will actually do one every Friday so that I can have time to make other helpful video for you guys. So every Friday is when I will actually post my gains for the week and my loss for the week as well and go over some of my key trades so that will be that and um the next thing that i usually have is my order i like to keep an eye on um, some of some of my orders so i keep it right here I actually have this thing over here on my own on my last one and the other one is market view it goes the other one I think I lost all my own uh, this is my watch list so this is my watch list I don't I have three monitors guys so on my reball account I have a watch list too so I, I got it on the other screen and on my dash trader pro I have this on there so and um you go to what's next time and sales I like watching that one too I usually put it right here time and sales goes right here and then what's the montage bad boy right here I usually have it like this and I have it on style I have it on basic so I just put oh by the way I'm using um I don't do the click thing no more, so I just use um hotkeys. So I'll make another video about that though, so I don't want to make this video as I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm gonna make another video about what hotkeys I use and all that extra stuff. So, um, what's charts? Charts. So I have this. I have I usually have the one minute and the five minute close together. So this one right here. And like this. So right now there's as you guys can see there's nothing showing, so I have to click on one. So boom. And you see when I click on it, 
it's not showing on this so you guys you guys have to click on this one and hold it and put it on this and click it hold it put it on that one and click it hold it and put it on this one so that's that and then it will follow for whichever one that you click on so this is how I like it so for my charts this is how I like my charts so five minutes one minute and then usually configuration so this is my configuration guys so I usually just I like my the color on this one to be this and I want the day separator line market open line and market close line so I click on all of those three and then I click on draw background between open and close lines so I click on this and then I change the color to gray. So I click on this, and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like now. So you see? So this is the after hours, and then this is the normal hours. So let's finish it. That is it for that one, and then for this, the mouse, you need to put it on fast. So let me show you how this one works as you can see this, this is faster and when you put it on look slow it takes a long time for it to zoom in so I like mine to be right here and then on this part you want that to be on 200 the y-axis to be on 200 and then click on fix margin so that you can see the you can see this part and then this one to be on 50% click on this one here click on this and this is how I have mine this is after hours and this is normal hours here and you have to do it for the one minute too so because if you don't it will only show on the five minute charts so you have to do it whatever that you do for this chart you have to do it on this one for it to show because as you can see if I click if I click on Roku it won't show on this it will only show on the five minute charts so whatever that you do on on the configuration for this chart you have to do it for this one too so right now I'm just gonna do this one chart because I don't want to make this video too long so and click on this and on what I what I had last time I think I had the save trend lines on too and the double click to trade and then the display trend lines information so that is all I have I think I had to study I have the VWAP that's the most important stuff to me to be honest I have it on because I love trading with the VWAP and then sometimes I have the RSI Sometimes I have the RSI on, but lately I haven't been really using it, so I'm gonna take that off by doing this. And you have a clear chart with only the VWAP in front of you as support or resistant. So sometimes I like to put the the moving average too, but sometimes I just leave it the VWAP and just straight like this because I like it better that way so that is all guys that is all that I have right now so far I don't like things to be complicated so 
that is my setup so if you guys like this video guys if it did help you out please smash the like button or subscribe if you if you haven't because i will keep making these helpful videos guys just for you guys to learn and improve your tradings so that's it guys have a great day